<clears throat> okay, hey, hello, buenas tardes, everybody. It's uh, uh, me and Professor, and it's uh, definitely a bit of a uh, dreary, drizzly day out, out here in uh, this part of uh, Riverside County. But uh, look, it's supposed to warm up again uh, real soon, so uh, not much in terms of, of, of rain, but uh, <clears throat> but as long as the uh, kiddies uh, like the warm weather, then uh, I guess that that's uh, okay with me. All right, well, listen, everyone. I want to go ahead and say a few things about the uh, EBSCO article review assignment. That's your uh, second major assignment that's due in this class. Of course, the uh, first one being the assignment on the uh, California Mission System. That's the SLO. And then the EBSCO assignment is due right after that. So it's going to be on Friday, March the 7th, at which that's going to be due. So what I want to do for you right now is go ahead and show you a little bit about how to complete the assignment. Uh, I'll show you how to get into the EBSCO database and we'll take a look at some uh, suggestions on uh, what types of articles you can check out uh, for this. So this shouldn't be too, too long of a video. I figure with about 10, 12 minutes we can get this taken care of. So let's go ahead and check things out. I'll flip the camera over. We'll take a look at my uh, MacBook Air. I've already got the class queued up, so we'll go and take a look at this together. Okay, all right, so just uh, hang on for a second until I get everything queued up properly. Okay, and let me adjust my chair here. Okay, and adjust the camera a little bit more. Okay, all right, I think we're ready to go ahead and, uh, and proceed. Okay, one, one more final uh, adjustment here. Okay, there we go, everyone. All right, um, there you can see, of course, uh, there's the announcements, uh, the announcements page from uh, Friday the uh, the seventh. Uh, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, and get into uh, get into the web link section because that's your your link to the uh, uh, Mesa College uh, LRC, the Mesa College Library, and the databases. And um, and of course, I've got the link also on the assignment worksheet there in the assignment section. So let me just uh, go ahead and open up the uh, web links. And make sure I get my get my fingers in the right place here. Okay, and there we go. Some of the links, uh, some of the links here. Oh, and we're on the database where I have ProQuest. Uh, obviously, that that's a, that that's left over from last semester because uh, uh, in the past I used to use a ProQuest for these article assignments, but it looks like the the library changed the database system, so they're no they no longer have a ProQuest. Uh, they have ProQuest newspapers, but not ProQuest uh, articles. So now we're on to EBSCOhost. So just ignore that. Uh, but I'll be sure to affix uh, that during the next uh, few days. But let's go ahead and get into the uh, Mesa College LRC databases. Okay, and EBSCOhost is the very first one right from the from the get go. So let's go ahead and click that. Uh, just ignore what's left, what's on the bottom here. So, Ethnic News Watch, a JSTOR, uh, Newspaper Source Plus, and ProQuest Newspapers. Don't get into those. It's EBSCO Host. That's that's uh, the one you're going to be using. All right, and uh, and then once you get in here, uh, if you're on a uh, uh, if if you're a computer off campus, uh, just type in your CSID number and your last name. I've got that already queued up here. So let me go ahead and click log on and see what happens. Okay, it's loading up any second here. Okay, there we go, everyone. There's the uh, search page for EBSCOhost. So what you need to do here is a number of things in order to get uh, to what you're looking for. Let's go ahead and, and go through each one step by step. Now, at the top here, you're going to put your search. And remember, uh, keep the keep the search topics within uh, the uh, scope within the first, about the first part, about the first, the two-thirds of the class. So, of course, uh, Mesoamerican topics are perfect. Uh, so you can type in the Aztecs, the Maya, uh, Teotihuacan, the Toltecs, the Olmecs, even cultures we're not really looking at too much, like the Mixtecs, the Zapotecs, the Tarascans, and on and on into a Spanish colonialism, such as uh, you can put in topics like uh, New Spain, uh, colonial Mexico, things of that nature. But uh, to keep things simple, let's go ahead and stick with some Mesoamerican topics. Topics. I'll get to that in just a bit. But first, let's put our parameters here because that's going to be to the key to giving us the articles that, that we need. All right, so on the search options, uh, immediately it's going to say Boolean and phrase. So leave, leave that there. Don't change that. Keep it there on the, on the, uh, on the Boolean um, icon. And then on the bottom, right next or adjacent to that, where it has limit your results, we're going to uh, click, click some of these. So uh, be sure to click the full text box because you want to make sure you get full text articles, the majority in PDF, but some in HTML format. 
but either way, you're going to get full text. And make sure you click scholarly peer-reviewed journals because this indicates that these are journals that have been uh, uh, cleared by cleared by their peers in in, in the field. So if somebody from uh, Cal State Northridge writes an article, then his or her peers from, say, University of Washington, uh, Iowa State, uh, Columbia, uh, they'll uh, they'll look it over and, and and they'll basically give it the go ahead. So uh, so that so this way you get you get something legitimate. You're not going to get something from some crazy uh, UFO guy in the middle of the desert in uh, Barstow or Needles writing some crazy stuff about how the uh, Aztecs came down from uh, uh, from Neptune, from Pluto, Jupiter, wh wh wherever. Uh, and that's how they built their their pyramid. So obviously, by clicking scholarly peer review, you're going to avoid uh, that type of thing where some crazy guy just uh, writes uh, some uh, some goofy article and tries to pass it off as something uh, scholarly. So uh, be sure to click scholarly, and then go down here to uh, other limiters, special limiters. So you want to click a periodical because you, you because you're going to get a uh, because you're going to get a, a, a journal uh, that that is a a, a magazine that's uh, in uh, in in the in the field of uh, whether it's uh, on anthropology on archaeology uh, antiquities uh, things of that nature so make sure you click periodical periodical and then over to the right where it says number of pages let me move in a bit so you guys can get a better a better look uh, right there where it says number of pages, you're going to do two things r right here. First off, uh, where it says all, make sure you change that to uh, greater than because on this assignment, you're going to you have to be sure that your article co comes in at eight pages mi minimum. Uh, a lot of the articles here are, are, are really short. Some of them uh, two to three pages. They're just short, uh, short write-ups. But you want to make sure you get something a little bit more legitimate here in terms of uh, uh, meat and uh, meat and potatoes, that type of thing. A lot of content. So click greater than and over in the uh, box here to the right, type uh, type in a seven because greater than seven, of course, is eight. So you're going to get everything. You're going to get everything that's eight pages and uh, uh, and and uh, and more. So, uh, so always make sure you type in greater than greater than than seven adjacent to the section where you're going to click periodical. Let me scroll down to see if there's anything else that we need to uh, punch in here. But I'm pretty sure that that's all you need to uh, all you need to do. Okay, no, that's that's going to do it. All right, so there we have our limiters. So uh, again, periodical greater than seven, full text, scholar scholarly. Um, you don't need to worry about this if you're a publication. I'll get you that in just a bit. So as, we, as I wrap up this video, I'll show you what you can what you can do there. But I think we're ready to go ahead and search, and let's go ahead and see if we can find anything about the Aztecs. Let's type in Aztecs uh, here at the top. Okay, and then click the search button, and let's see what kind of things we, we come up with. Okay, all right. We got quite a good selection. We got 665 articles uh, that that the articles that 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 popped up. Uh, some of them, uh, some of them pertaining to more uh, contemporary topics. Some of them uh, a little bit more esoteric. So uh, this first one is from the journal called the uh, Monthly Notices for the uh, of the Royal Astronomical Society. So if this is an astronomy class, then obviously that might be something uh, something uh, in, in, uh, something interesting. The second one looks intriguing. It's from a journal called Historical Social Research. This one here, number three, is from the Huntington Library Quarterly. This one, is, this one, number four, is from Art Bulletin, and then, uh, uh, and then this one here, number five, that's from the journal Gender and History. So even though these things seem intriguing, they're not really uh, from the list of journals that I have listed. Because if you go back to the assignment worksheet, and I've got it here, in, got, got it here queued up in the uh, uh, queued up in the back. So let me uh, let me leave. Uh, EBSCO and go over to uh, uh, to the uh, to uh, Apple Pages, the uh, Apple Preview, and uh, here I've got all the directions already for you. And what I what I just mentioned to you earlier, I've got that listed here. But you'll notice I have a list of uh, of six journals that you can choose your that you can choose your uh, your um, your topic from. I've got Colonial Latin American Review, Ethno History, American Anthropologist, Antiquity, Latin American Antiquity, and Hispanic American Historical Review. So what, what I mean here is that you've got to choose your article from these six journals. And again, a, a lot of people in the past have gotten confused in terms of journal, periodical, article. Article, of course, is the thing that, that has the information. It's, uh, it's something that's written, of course, by the scholar. Um, 
So that's the one that you're looking for that has, has to be eight pages. Journal and periodical mean the same thing. Basically, for lack of a better term, they're fancy words for, for ma ma magazine. So when I say journal and periodical, I mean the same thing. That is, that's the, that's the academic magazine, the academic, uh, 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 academic item that's going to contain the list of various articles. So again, from, from this list of six journals, Make sure that your article is from is from w w one of these. So much like National Geographic, National Geographic is a uh, 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 is what's considered an uh, it, it is considered a journal or or a periodical. So that's what you're going to be going, going to be looking for. So let's go back into EBSCO for a second here, and uh, if we go down to number six, there's one here that looks intriguing from the Colonial Latin American uh, Colonial Latin American uh, re, uh, re, 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 mm, review. I think that one that one looks looks uh, intriguing. Oh, this one here on ethno history by Cecilia Klein. That's a good one. So already right then and there, that's one right off the bat that we we can we we can uh, we can check out. But let's say that we want to limit our search, and uh, maybe if you if you look at this, um, you're intrigued by this art by this Aztec one. Uh, but you want to uh, but you want to focus in but you're interested in the Maya and you want to see what the journal ethno history has. So let, what we do right now is let's go ahead and do a new search and fix up our and fix up our. Uh, uh, our up up our parameters our up um our our guidelines let's uh let's clear this let's go back to what uh, to basic search for a second so we're going to go back all the way to the beginning here so all right so you know the drill so make sure you have boolean okay click full text click scholarly and then we'll go down here make sure you click periodical and then over here over off here on the right let's click greater than and type in a seven and um, and then we want to search the maya so let's go ahead and just type in maya you can put in maya uh mayas maya architecture maya art maya uh, goddesses uh, any of that but let's go, go with maya right now uh as a general term now but we want to limit our search a little bit further. Uh, let's say we want to see what the journal ethno history has so where it says publication type in ethno history Okay, I think I spelled that right. Okay, yeah, I think I did. All right, so we've got our parameters, we've got the Maya search, we've got full text, we've got scholarly peer-reviewed um, publication and greater than greater than seven. So that's going to limit our search even more. Let's go ahead and click the uh, search button at the top and see what we come up with. Okay, all right, there we go. We've got 120 articles in which to choose from all of these from the journal Ethnohistory. This one is about uh, it's something called a hybrid uh, uh, cosmology. It's basically focusing on mythology and, and religion. Uh, <clears throat> This one, number two, is is about uh, is about writing. And it's actually in in colonial y Yucatan, so this actually comes after the uh, Mesoamerican periods. This one here is on on genealogy, number number three, and uh, this one here, number four, is about continuity and change within the early colonial colonial structure. This is after the Mesoamerican period. Okay. Oh, here's one that looks intriguing. This was actually in the 20th century. So if I get into 20th century items, you you can do do that too, um, because for all intents and purposes, the Mayas who who are still around today in uh, in Chiapas, in Guatemala, Honduras, those places, for the most part, a lot of them still maintain their old life ways, despite a lot of the uh, problems and stresses. And in fact, we saw a lot of this in, in the in the National Ge National Geographic Ma Ma Maya film. Um, Despite political pressures, economic and uh, uh, economic and social pressures, many of them still cling to their ways of life. And I would imagine that this Article Five is the uh, is the best one to uh, or uh, look looks at that. Okay, six and seven and eight look in, in, intriguing too. Uh, number num, number nine at number nine as well. So you notice that all of these again they're not only in the same journal ethno history, but they're all at least eighteen pages. I'm sorry, eight pages. For example, let's look at number nine. Number nine, if we, if you look at the journal entry, it's fourteen pages. Up here in number eight, this one is twenty nine pages, and likewise, choice number seven, it's a uh, ten pages. So. 
Um, again, for the Maya, you've got a great choice to, to choose from, great choices to, to, to look at, all from the Ethno History Journal. And if you go back to the search page, if you type in those other journals I've listed on the assignment sheet, you can, uh, you can, go, you can uh, go with that route too. So again, if you don't want to focus on the Maya, you type in Olmecs, uh, Toltecs, Teotihuacan, Mixtecs, Zapotecs, any of those uh, uh, older cultures. Of course, the Aztecs too. <clears throat> Um, and then if you want to uh, type in terms pertaining to uh, uh, colonial Mexico, co uh, colonial New Spain, which of course was what Mexico was called back in those days, then you can do that too. So um, so with that, I hope this gives you an idea on how to search uh, EBSCO. But if you have any questions about any of this, of course, uh, just let me know. Uh, of course, make sure you contact me now on Messages for Professor. And remember, everybody, I do uh, uh, I am doing the Thursday evening chat sessions from 8 to 9.15, 9 9.30 if necessary, if I need to go a little bit longer. So we can definitely use uh, uh, use those chat sessions uh, to do any real time search uh, strategies. But I hope the 50 minute video did at least gave you a sense in terms of uh, what direction to go to, how to actually type in your EBSCO parameters on searching, and then uh, and then of course you, you can you can go from uh, uh, go go from there. All right, so that's it from here. Uh, I hope this video helped out, and uh, the next video I'm going to make for you uh, within the next week or so, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the U.S. Mexico War. Mexico War so that's the last major writing assignment you have to do for the class so uh, if it's a sunny day ne if it's a sunny day next weekend uh, most likely I'll record uh, outside and maybe some of my uh, uh, my outdoor fuzzy friends might come over and uh, and say uh, buenas tardes or uh, buenos dias that type of fun stuff so that's it from here uh, I'll of course I'll be with you uh, with um, with more announcements as the week progresses and uh, and again, don't forget there's the Thursday night chat session if you need to talk to me about not just EBSCO, but anything else pertaining to the scope of the class. So that's it from here. You guys take care, and I'll come back with, a, with, a, with my next video uh, very, very soon.